What's up you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. It's Mr. Eddie Barber and today we're gonna break down a little fade tutorial action. We're gonna be using, see how that turns right on? Ain't that pretty cool? We're gonna be using the Apex, man. And I have a taper blade on here. And as you guys can see, as promised, I'm gonna be talking about the rig just a little bit. So screenshot the chart because you're gonna see how this gets useful. If you, if you look down on the bottom end, you're gonna see we got, we got skin to trimmer, all right? So we're gonna need something to skin out with. Uh, we're gonna skin out from here to here, all right? So I'm just gonna run you quickly through how we did that and I can show another little video while I do that, but I actually did not film it on him. If you guys wanna know how to start every single haircut to give you guys like a good solid way to do it, uh, watch my phase one video. We discuss debulking, skinning, and getting them set up in this position. Once they're set up here, we can actually get into the blend. So let's do that. All right, after we've done our skin to the trimmer, when I'm doing that, I'm usually stopping a little bit before I hit that line, and I wanna make sure that all that hair is super clean, and I wanna make sure that there's no line in between skin and trimmer, because that's just a line that you're gonna to have to fight with later, and if you fight with it now a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit easier. You still might have to fight with it later. All right, we're gonna begin with our apex in the open position, and I'm looking to flip out a line. I wanna set a guideline about the width of my little finger here. So not even much of a guideline. You're not really gonna see that much because I kind of debulked with a one and a half just to kind of get that out of my way. Uh, but that's, that's what we're doing. Not really too worried about flicking or trying to do anything fancy. Uh, that's about it. So once I do that, I'm gonna reach into my rig, pull out my number one. I'm gonna put that in the open position and I'm gonna make another little guideline. Now, we talked about this in one of the previous videos, Industry Secrets, and if you guys wanna check that out, I'll put it right here. All right, taking off the number one, I actually skipped the one and one half and I went right to the two. So I'm gonna put the two on. And as you guys can see, using this rig, it's pretty sweet, man. I'm able to walk around anywhere I wanna walk around and I could be pretty far away from my station and I could say, you know what, I'm done with this. Let me grab my trimmer, bam, I'm trimming. Now I'm gonna put this back. You know what, I need a comb. I got the comb right here. I don't even have to look, it's become muscle memory. And I love this thing. So now that we're gonna be done with our number two, we're gonna come back with the number one and one half. I'm gonna put that one and one half on in the open position. I'm gonna begin closing it down. My idea here is that I wanna make sure that the number one and one half and the number two blend well. And now, now we can get into actually doing the blend. So we just threw a bunch of guidelines in, don't worry about it. And don't worry about it, don't worry about it. All right, so now with it in the fully closed position, I'm just gonna flick up on the very bottom line, just a little bit. And I'm, I'm telling you, you don't wanna be going crazy here. This is just a little tiny flick. And as I'm, as I'm done with my panel, I'm gonna begin clicking this down a little bit. That means I'm opening it up and I'm going to flick a little bit more. I might do this two clicks at a time. And I'm gonna flick a little bit more. Now what you're gonna see is from skin all the way to open taper, you're gonna have that blend looking pretty good and it's gonna stay nice and compressed. That's what we're going for in this particular situation. All right, now we know that we skipped our half. So we're gonna be returning back to the half here, but take your time with this part, take your time with this process, and trust me when I tell you, you probably wanna try a taper blade, man. These taper blades are awesome, they're super forgiving, and if you make a little mistake here with the taper blade, you're not gonna pay for it too heavily, all right? So now, bam, again, with the rig, snapping on my half guard, all right? So I'm gonna snap on my half guard, and I usually put this about halfway open, and I'm going to follow it up. Now, I'm following up on the same steps that I did before. I got it about halfway open. I might open it up a little bit more or I might close it down a little bit more based on what the hair is doing. Obviously, if you still got problems and it's not disappearing, you probably gotta close your clipper a little bit. So we're gonna close that clipper down a little bit and you're gonna see that this blend is starting to come together, but it's still got some issues and that's the whole point of this. We're gonna keep detailing here. So once I get done with that half guard, a lot of times I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna open this back up and I'm gonna make sure that everything's looking good all the way from skin uh, to half open. And now it's a perfect time. If you see any lines or anything, I can jump over to my trimmer, bam, trim that thing out, knock out any little lines that I'm still seeing. Some of them are not coming across on camera as well. And sometimes the camera can make them look a lot worse than they actually are, to be honest. Uh, but after you've got this little step out of the way, you know you're good. And we're of course gonna have to go back to our number one. All right, so we're just following our way back up there and we're gonna do a little detail work with the one. Now, on the back part of the head, almost forgot I did this, on the back part of the head, we actually used the low pros because this video was used 
uh, as partially an example between my low pro versus apex uh, versus rebel video. So if you guys wanna check that out, bam, you can. That was the last video I uploaded. Uh, but because I did both sides uh, with two different clippers, I kind of made a mess of the back. Like I was just flicking at the back like a little by little. So I wanna just go ahead and restart this process all the way over from the bottom, close position, all the way across the back of the head. And I'm gonna begin opening it slightly, opening it slightly. And then I'm gonna go up to the number one. I'm gonna do the same thing. And that's the step that I'm in right now. I got that number one and I'm moving up and I'm moving up. All right, I'm gonna begin closing that down and I'm just gonna begin working back and forth a little bit till I like what I see. Once I like what I see, this blend's gonna to come together and you guys are gonna be able to keep that really compressed blend when you do this work, all right? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Now that gives me a second. Um, you guys could check out the final product here but I just want to talk about the rig from Slicker. Uh, I know that some of you guys, this might not be right for you, all right? But if you're filming haircut tutorials, there's a few things I really love about this. One, you can't see them, but I got some big lights that surround me when I cut hair. And I'm usually cutting hair from the same position, right? All the time. So what that means is when I need to go back to my desk, it's a big problem for me. So having everything on my, on my, on my persons, on my vest, is awesome you know and then also when i'm teaching classes when i'm up on stage if i'm doing anything like that this is going to make life so much easier because now i just got everything right here on me i don't need to rely on little stupid tables and chairs and stuff like that you know everything's everything's the way i need it to be all right so i'm i'm giving this product an a plus because you guys know i'm all about functionality i absolutely love it and one of the things that's really allowed me to grow and become more functional is the way that I have my station set up. So I want you guys to check that out. In the next video, we're gonna do a full station tour. Oh, but there's one more thing about this rig from Slicker that's really dope. I actually realized that I can clip one of my cameras right here on my vest, and I can actually get this really cool view, and I can just get some shots that I otherwise couldn't get. So that's what I'm gonna start bringing to some of my other tutorials uh, as I continue filming tutorials. But I didn't really film this as a tutorial. I was filming this more or less for the shootout but I figured like, that's a pretty fresh cut. That's a pretty fresh cut, right? What do you guys think, man? Leave the comment down below, stick around for the station tour, and of course, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, help me out, leave some love in the comments, and I'll be back at you guys with another video soon.